Good morning. It's Thursday. It's beautiful. It's sunny. I'm so happy. We've just come out of a bunch of rain and now it's so green outside. Post full moon lunar eclipse. Um, it was a pretty intense day yesterday. The resonance was just spiking like crazy. Major light codes coming in. Um, I posted in the community to see how everybody's going. It was a mixed bag. There was a lot of heaviness being felt, which is totally normal. Just know that's a lot of release trying to happen from your system. And um, I channeled some light language this morning about allowing the release to happen so we can and allowing what is serving us what our highest best good is to come in because what happens is a lot through our traumas through our lives through experiences we build a shell we build walls around ourselves like a castle to protect ourselves there's a big moat that we dig around ourselves just to keep energies and people at a distance and you know what we need to learn to trust a little more we need to learn to have a little more joy and find the silver lining and circumstances and change our mindset. That's the big thing when we're going through difficult, quote unquote, difficult times, you know, it's all about our mindset and what we're choosing to see in those times. Because everything that comes into our experience, whether we like to think so or not, is something that we've um, welcomed in. We have invited it in, in one way or another, in one dimension, in, on one realm or another, and it is for us to work through. And it, it's powerful when we can go through something really difficult and see the, see the light in it and see the lesson in it and complete the karma in these cycles. So with this, what I keep hearing and what I keep seeing is that these full moons like what we felt the last few weeks, well, what we felt for the last year is just going to continue to amplify. Like we are not going to go back to life just being the way it was. Like it's these energies are continuing to amplify, especially as we wake up and we understand our energy. So the better we can grasp and ride the waves, the more love we can give ourselves, the more self-care we can give ourselves to ride these waves, the better off we're going to be coming out on the other side. Surrender into the feelings. Allow them to flow through. If you feel like you need to cry, cry. Even if there's no emotion behind, like no emotion that you can think of behind it. A lot of the time, you know, when we're young, if we go through a circumstance where maybe we don't cry or we shut down in a trauma phase, we will store those feelings, those emotions in our nervous system, in our muscular skeletal system, and they will get trapped. You know, if we're, if you were one of those people that always swallowed your emotions down, that was me. I had to be tough. And so I swallowed my emotions down for my whole life. And, you know, crying was a sign of weakness. And you know what? I stored so much crap in my system, so many traumatic memories in my system that and going through like the release is difficult and it's painful, but it's so worth it on the other side because you clear that noise, you clear those vibrational frequencies out of your nervous system to make way for calmness in your life. It'll clear the anxiety. It'll clear, I like I've said before in videos, I lived life like with chronic anxiety. And like I'm very high functioning, but it was like this high functioning anxiety where I was always on the ball. I had really severe post-traumatic stress disorder. So I understand these things. Like I was that animal running through the forest, always on the lookout for danger. But I still, you know, held a very high powered job. I, my, I'm very cognitive, you know, I'm very intelligent, but it was still, it, it lowered my cognitive ability so much holding that in my system. And when I released it, and it wasn't overnight that it was released, it was a lot of deep digging. It was a lot of learning to not control my mind, but understand it and allow it just to be removing. So each and every, if I can do this, anybody can, because I'm the most stubborn person and I used to not want to change. And if I can do it, any, any one of you can do it. Any one of you can get through this. If you're sitting in a place of anxiety right now, just know that this is your, this is your marker. It's, you know, the world, your body is showing you where you need to go to heal. Those triggers you feel, um, those 
those emotions that you feel. Sorry, my Wi-Fi was all funny. Those emotions that you feel, they are showing you where you need to go within you, where you need to give yourself a little bit of love, a little bit extra love, where you need to reparent parts of yourself and release that scared child that's trying to protect you because that's what happens. We have this inner child that's screaming for love or screaming for acceptance or screaming for, you know, just to be heard. And we can, we have to release that because we're not that child. We're not those feelings anymore. We're divine beings and we are all worthy of love and we're all worthy of being heard and we're all worthy of being seen as for who we are, not what others want us to be for who we are at a core level, at a soul level. So step into that today. I am inviting you to step a little bit farther into who you are and dig in a little bit deeper to feel those feelings and heal, 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 heal. On that note, I'm running a healing circle tonight. Um, I do these once a month ish over zoom there's a few spots left if anybody's interested in joining um it's it's very very affordable for anybody who's wanted to try energy healing or who loves energy healing these zoom circles are super powerful and i do a sound bath in them too i got a new microphone so the sound bath is going to sound better i'm excited um, because my old condenser mic wasn't great for the higher frequencies of the sound bowls so this one is great but if you're interested in that it's in the event tabs at the top um and it just coming together as a collective and sharing our energy and healing is so powerful. And I just want each and every one of you to know that you're doing an amazing job. This thing we call life, this roller coaster we're on on a daily basis, this planet, you know, flying through the atmosphere in these uni in this universe is a wild ride. We live on a very dense planet and you know, we've been put here to go through things so we can hold more compassion in our system for others. All those traumas you've been through are for you to better connect and love yourself more. And so you can give more love to others. So you can have more compassion for others, more reverence, more understanding, you know, instead of fighting, instead of fighting things, aligning with the energies of love, aligning with the energies of that compassion and empathy, not sympathy, but empathy and being able to shine that out onto the world. Our world needs it so much right now and it needs you it needs every single one of you to shine your light and to keep smiling and to feel your emotions. Don't bypass, don't, emo don't spiritually or emotionally bypass things. You know, when you feel these emotions, dig into them, dig in. When you're triggered by something that somebody else says, that's you, that, that's, you've invited that in to look within and understand where that trigger is coming from. When you're triggered by a circumstance, that's you, not anybody else. It's, it's a gift to you. And when you switch that mindset and you take these triggers as gifts, you take these feelings as gifts, these beliefs to dig in and understand where the root, where that came from, you will release yourself. So you'll release so much heaviness from your system to welcome in more light and to welcome in more love for self because that's the truest form of self-love is healing and doing the deep, dark, hard, dirty work so that you can be happy and you can enjoy life. We're not put here to walk through life being miserable, being depressed, being anxious, being sad. What creator would want that? Why would a creator create us to be miserable? Ask yourself that. Would you have your children, if you have children or a parent or an animal, would you want them to be miserable? No, we just all want others to be happy. So you need to be happy. You need to put yourself first and do the work. Anyway, I'm going to pull a quick card before I talk everybody's ear off too much. And we're going to ask spirit what we need to see today. What is our guidance for today? Oh, I love this. I got chills, gentleness. And this is so true. Be kind to yourself. I am my own worst critic. And that's one of my big things that I'm still working through that is like so deeply subconsciously ingrained in me where I, you know, something goes wrong. And I think it's my fault because I was always in trouble as a kid. So just so you know, I'm still working through stuff too. I am human just like you. We're all human, but we're on this path and we're here to share and grow and teach each other and share our wisdom. So it says, I surround myself with gentleness, anger, abrupt movements, noise, screams, create gaps in the energy field. 
I now put myself above all of this and I create my haven of peace. I live simply and gently. And that's the beauty of life. Be gentle, be kind, especially to yourself. Anyway, I'm going to go finish my coffee. I love you. I'll see some of you tonight at the Healing Circle. Um, and yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye.